Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another 3D printing video. As you can see, I got a new artillery printer. Let's get it started. All right, so first things first, I wanna say a big shout out to the folks over at Artillery. Uh, I am so grateful that they like what I do with my channel and they sent me a uh, Artillery Sidewinder 2 printer. Uh, this printer is for a specific thing. Um, what I'm gonna do with this printer is I'm gonna get it all set up and everything. And then I'm actually gonna print uh, a full size helmet on it. I'm gonna document that process. We'll come back, we'll look at the final product. It's gonna be over uh, a period of time, so, uh, as far as this video goes, it'll be just like that, but in reality, it'll be a few days. But um, I really like the artillery printer. It's it's a wonderful printer. I have printed a bunch of stuff on the one that I uh, already have, and I'm really excited to get another one just for this process. You've seen me unbox them. You've seen me put them together. We're still going to do an unboxing on this one. I'm gonna get the parts out. We're gonna put a little bit of it together and uh, we'll go from there. And then I'm gonna find it a home and we'll get the file up and going and I will show video clips throughout the process and the stages. And then once that's done, we'll, uh, we'll see what it looks like. We'll see how it fits. And uh, I'll show you what you can do with one of these printers. So for now, I'm gonna get it off the uh, table here. I'm gonna get it unboxed, get the pieces out check all that out, make sure it's good to go. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so got it out of the box. And basically in a nutshell, you have like five components. You have the gantry, you have the base, power cord, spool holder, and this awesome tool bag that comes with the uh, artillery printers. And you got your, for the spools, USB cable, wrench, got some extra rollers, the uh, USB drive. Yeah, it's a little extra ribbon cable right there. Really, really cool. The uh, certificate of confirmation right there. You got your manual, which again, this is a very, very easy printer to uh, install and get set up. Basically just a few uh, screw connections. And again, I've already done an unboxing in the assembly video and I'll put that in the links here so you can actually see that. Uh, but basically in a nutshell, you put the gantry on, screws, plug a few connections up, power it up, level it, and you're good to go. So what we'll do is I will do a little bit of a time lapse here, getting everything uh, put together. Uh, again, like I said, I've got a more in extensive video on the actual assembly and everything, but for this particular part of the process, we'll just do a time lapse because in all honesty, what I want to do with this video is showing it in action. Uh, so that's, that's what this is going to be about. And again, it's going to be several clips through the process. So we'll, uh, We'll see how that turns out. But anyway, let's uh, let's do a time lapse. Got it put together um, just to do a little bit of a recap. You have the gantry, four screws. The screws are already there, put it in place. Uh, on the back side, you have uh, one, two, three uh, connectors to connect. Again, very well done. They're, you know exactly where to put them. You don't even have to refer 
to anything, you can figure it out real easy. The um, spool holder at the top, there's one cable to go into the runout sensor, and that's pretty much it as far as putting this thing together. Uh, now this particular uh, printer, some of the things I like about it, 300 by 300 by 300 uh, direct drive, um, it's it's a workhorse, it's a beast, and I just love these printers. So what, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go put it in place and uh, still gotta get the bed leveled, get everything fired up, and uh, yeah, then we'll get to printing something. So uh, I'll be right back. Well, we're back, we're printing. The artillery is already leveled up. Everything's looking good. Got filament loaded. And I am in the process now of printing a sizing ring. And this is something really important when you're, you know, doing a, a lid is to do a sizing ring first. And that way you'll know if your, your helmet's going to fit and uh, before you actually go through and print a whole helmet. So we're going to kind of let this print. And then once it's done, I'll come back, show you what that looks like. And then uh, I'll explain more about the helmet I'm uh, working on. All right, so the first piece is finished printed on the artillery 3D printer. And uh, just to sort of let you know, so the lid that I'm actually printing is the Imperial Commando Trooper helmet. Um, and this is the sizing ring. Uh, so I, I got the files on my Patreon on uh, Galactic Armory. Got the files from uh, them. And this is a must. Um, before you invest in hundreds of, of grams of filament, you need to do this first. Um, also, the burring tool. I wanted to take this opportunity to show you this, but uh, there's always like a little flange on the print and the deburr deburring tool is great for cleanup. It does an amazing job. So I highly recommend a deburring tool just to clean the edges up a little bit. And we'll go from there. It's not that important on the sizing ring, but uh, yeah. All right. so. This sizing ring here is uh, forehead. So uh, this will let you know if you need to resize anything on the helmet. So I am golden. I am golden on this. I mean, it's a little, a little big, but I like them a little big. So when I add padding, so I'm good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know, start printing the, uh, the helmet. Now, I also wanted to make a point that I can print the entire helmet on the Artillery Sidewinder X2, no problem, none whatsoever. I am not gonna print it that way. I'm actually gonna print it in sections. And the reason for that is not because the printer can't handle it, it's because it'll save filament and that's the name of the game. You know, you don't want to waste uh, your filament. So I just find that it would be uh, better to do it that way, which is, is cool because you'll see three different variants when it comes to uh, the printing process. Uh, the first piece I'm gonna print will be the, the front piece, uh, then the back piece, and then the dome. And uh, finally, we'll put it all together. So yeah, let's get started printing. All right, I want to give a little bit of an update. The front piece to the uh, Imperial Commando helmet is printing out great on the artillery sidewinder. Detail and everything's looking great. So, uh, yeah. Check it out, guys. Part number one is done. Way to go, artillery. All right, everybody. Thought I'd give you an update on the back piece back piece of the uh, helmet is coming out really, really nice. And also the front piece for the Praetorian Guard, it came out nice on my other artillery. So the artillery printers are rocking and rolling. All right, everybody.
piece number two has completed on the Imperial Commando helmet. So uh, let's get this pulled off and get the final piece started. Check it out, guys. Third and final piece on the Imperial Commando helmet. This is the dome. We're about a quarter of the way done, but uh, it is printing out super nice, super clean. Artillery printers doing a great job with a wonderful file from Galactic Armory. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see at the next clip. Check it out, guys. Third and final piece is done printed. Looks amazing. Let's get it off the printer, head back over to the table, take a look at all the parts, and uh, do a test fit. What's up, everybody? We're done. 3D printing the Imperial Commando uh, helmet has completed. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the, the process that uh, I've showed you some clips on. Uh, this is an amazing file from uh, Galactic Armory and super stoked for this. So uh, we're going to put everything together. There's a couple other pieces that I printed off that weren't uh, PLA, but uh, I wanted to show those as well. But we'll start it out. So this file is three pieces. Uh, for the main helmet, and then there's uh, some other pieces that go right here, but take a closer look. There's the actual front part of the helmet. Again, amazing files. Uh, printed out great. I still got a little bit of cleanup left to do um, on some of it. Some little bits and pieces here and there. Because honestly, the printing part of it is in a lot of uh, aspects is the easiest part. Taking all of this and turning it into a helmet uh, that's finished and painted, that's a whole nother thing. Uh, the second piece we did was the, the rear section of the helmet. And I'll be honest with you, I actually boogered it up a little bit right there trying to get the supports out. So I get to fix that, no, no big deal. But uh, again, overall, Everything printed out great. Uh, got the area where the raft and stuff was at. So got some cleanup to do there. And finally, the dome. Um, this is probably the piece that uh, a lot of people, you know, when it comes to printing helmets, they ask the questions, do you need supports? No, you do not. Right there. No supports. However, there is some cleanup to do, and uh, my process is totally different than everybody else's, but I usually will go through and scrape out all of these uh, strings, and then I actually use a torch and I just burn everything in. But uh, yeah, there you go. And the other pieces, like I said earlier, with the mouth details, and I resin printed these, so there's this piece, which goes right here on there and then we have the aerators that go on each side i probably need to sand these down some to get them to actually um to fit yeah but you get the you get the gist of it they go right there so you, you don't have to resin print these you can print these with uh pla no problem uh, another cool thing when it comes to Galactic Armor and their files is they, they always have these registry keys, which I love these things. Uh, the registry keys are great. It really does help you to uh, lock everything in and go from there. Um, there's also one other piece I need to print, and that's the visor piece. And... This, this is what I'll probably do when it comes to this is um, I probably will not glue everything together. I'll, I'll glue this part together, but not the dome part yet until I actually get the, uh, the, the actual visor in it. Because once you put the lid on or the dome, that may be a little tricky. All right, let's get this thing together. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. So that, that just snugs right in like that. And again, the uh, 
visor part and the nose piece registries uh, key in, but there it is, right there. Imperial Commando, Tro Commando Trooper. I am curious about something. So I'm looking, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm looking, so the visor actually will come up above the, uh, the uh, lid part. Boom. Look at that. We got to try it on. We got to try it on. Hopefully it won't fall apart. Boom. Right there. Very, very cool. Very, very cool helmet. I dig it. I dig it a lot. But uh, yeah, there it is. Um, but yeah, the uh, again, with this particular video, this is the first that I've done like this to where I've showed you pieces uh, that I was printing off, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of that. Uh, I don't mind doing them. Um, these type videos do take longer because um, it's over several days, um, and that's okay. But uh, yeah, this thing looks so cool. So, so cool. This should be a fairly decent uh, paint job to do on this as well, because it's just like two colors, white and gray. But uh, I dig it. I dig it a lot. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's it, guys. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments. If this is your first time to my channel, hey, if you enjoy this type of content, do me a favor. Consider hitting that subscribe button. If you like the video, give me a like on that. I'll leave links to Galactic Armory so you can uh, see where these files are at and uh, pick them up for yourself. But uh, we're done. So I'm, now, 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 the, now the actual work begins. And uh, if you haven't followed me on social media, all the links is that in the description. So that's where I will post photos of this finished helmet. So um, Insta Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Anything that's on the interwebs, I'm out there. So uh, hit me up, send me a message, and uh, see what this thing looks like when I get done with it. And finally, please always remember, making your own helmets refreshes your soul, and I'll see you next time.